Okay, in this video, I'm going to tell you why in the Old Testament you have all the genealogies. And in the New Testament, Paul says, don't give heed to endless genealogies. Don't bother with them. Why, why did Paul say that and why does the Old Testament do that? Well, the reason is to bring Jesus Christ through a pure bloodline. Now, the only way you're going to understand that is if you understand that the bloodline of Adam and Eve, that they're, they're, there's two bloodlines, okay? The seed of the woman and the seed of the serpent in Genesis 3.15. If you don't accept that truth, then your Bible makes absolutely no sense. You'll never get it, period. You're going to say, oh, look at all these genealogies all throughout the Old Testament. In the New Testament, Paul says, don't bother with it. There's no genealogies in the New Testament. It's done with. It was all to bring Christ through. The seed of the woman, not the seed of the serpent. The serpent means the shining one, the nakash, the wicked one. So there's two seeds. That's 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 it. That's the bottom line as to why your Bible says two different things and is doing something. It's proving that Jesus was of the pure blood, pure man. 100% man, 100% God. Man, because... He is redeeming man and God because he's God. The number 12 is the letter L, 12th letter of the alphabet. E-L, if you spell L out, means God. Jesus was in the temple praying to his father at 12 years old. Okay, Revelation chapter 12 sign, giving us a 12-year marker in 2017. Means God. Okay, then 18 Years on top of that, 18 is the number of man, 6 plus 6 plus 6. And Jesus started his ministry at 30 years old, 12 plus 18. See that? Showing that Jesus was fully man, 18, fully God, number 12. Then he starts his ministry at 30, add them together. That's the whole reason. It's not about the bloodline for the people. God wasn't like, oh yeah, I'm going to, you know... The, the people are secondary. It was Christ first. That's the whole reason for the bloodline. So he had to redeem man. So he had to be a pure man. And you'll never come to the full knowledge of the truth unless you accept Genesis 3.15 for what it says. That Cain was of the wicked one. And Cain is not in Adam's bloodline. He's not in his lineage. Because he's not of Adam. He's of the wicked one. And that's the bottom line. That's why your Bible does that in the old testament genealogies galore in the new testament you won't find them and even paul says don't bother with them because christ has already come through the whole mission was to bring christ through a pure bloodline so that's that